The game's just ended at the Global Energy Stadium between Ross County and Rangers. Uh, Ross County were hosting a Rangers side who are struggling after successive defeats to the then bottom side. Of course, Hearts were bottom, then went above Hamilton, then Hamilton went above them by beating Rangers. Uh, Kamara gets an effort off in the first minute, it was a decent hit but well saved. This is a huge week for Rangers, Leverkusen at home uh, on Thursday and then Celtic on Sunday also at home. And Rangers need to, needed to get back on track today. Whereas Ross County couldn't be playing Rangers at a better time, defensively all over the place and can't score. Ross County threatened from a corner in 10 minutes as Ross Stewart wins a header but it's cleared away. Davis brilliantly finds Kent on 15 minutes, his effort was saved and Morelos denied from the rebound. Ross Stewart has been so involved for the home side so far. 19 minutes, Ross County get in behind. Mullen plays a ball across the Rangers' goal, but nothing comes of it. The home side will feel encouraged that it's 0 0 after 20 minutes. Kamara looking good so far for the first time in a while. Barisic whips in a good ball in 24 minutes into Morelos, but he gets a header all wrong. Nine games without a goal now for Morelos after this one. 26 minutes, Fraser gets a good block on a Morelos effort. Yet another corner for Rangers. In terms of Rangers' performance in the opening 32 minutes, it's very flat. Not looking likely of going ahead at the moment. Moment there, there for Ross County. Two minutes later, Fraser finds Fontaine, who knocks the ball down, but no takers. Kent finds Polster, who tries to get a shot off, but it's blocked. Shout for a penalty a minute later, Polster crosses in low and Fontaine slides to deny it, but then it comes off his hand. If the ref sees it, it's surely a clear penalty. Kent plays a dangerous ball in, in on 39 minutes, Fontaine deals with it, but only just. Could have ended up in his own net. Davis gets a shot off in 43 minutes, easy for Laidlaw. Not really a whole lot to talk about in that first half. Uh, second half, 48th minute, Rangers play their way into trouble. Aribo caught on the ball by Cowie after uh, Goldson passed it to him in a difficult situation. He finds Billy Mackay, so not Goldson, sorry, Edmondson. Edmondson it was the one that played him in the past there. Uh, he finds uh, Billy Mackay, who could have made it 1-0, but McGregor saved the day. A golden opportunity for the home side. Really, Billy Mackay should score there. Rangers have a free kick on 50 minutes. Barisic fires into the wall. The ball comes back to Hadji, who fires at goal, gathered by Laidlaw. Mullen drives forward in 58 minutes, lays it on a plate for Stewart, but he fires over. No composure, no touch taken. Rangers look very unlikely to score. Definitely the better chances have fell to the home side. Mullen again drives forward in 61 minutes. Nobody tries to stop him. Vicious effort on goal, well saved by McGregor. Laidlaw feigns an injury in 64 minutes to stop Camberry taking a corner quickly after forcing the keeper to an awkward situation where he won the ball off him and then it actually went out for a corner. But uh, he goes down uh, holding his leg. Kamara tries to get something going for Rangers, drives forward, finds Morelos in 70 minutes, but he can't do anything with it. On 73 minutes, Camberry spins in the box, again blocked by Fontaine. Then the corner is cleared off the goal by Vigors. Rangers have a goal in 76 minutes. Kent is found by Camberry, who has the space, gets a shot off, and it goes in via deflection. This was by far Rangers' best spell in the game. They were playing a lot better. Ryan Kent was just about to get taken off, but he was actually starting to play really well on the right-hand side, putting in a lot of crosses, getting a lot of space, and uh, it was a good decision in the end to keep him on. But I, I was thinking before that, um, like Gerrard, he really should have been coming off. Rangers should have a second on 92 minutes. Kent finds Camberry, who takes an age to get the effort off. He's even round the keeper, then eventually passes it to Jones, who is blocked for making it 2-0. On 94 minutes, Callum Morris rugby tackles Camberry to the ground. Quite unbelievably, he actually appealed that, uh, that it wasn't a foul, but I mean, <laughs> I mean, he rugby tackles him. I mean, it's just un indefensible. Barisic fires over the corner, and that's it. It's three points for Rangers. It was ugly. It wasn't pretty. But at the end of the day, it's uh, it's three points. Ross County will probably feel aggrieved that they maybe could have got a point out of this game, but the three points is what mattered for Rangers and, uh, you know, on to a huge challenge on Thursday against Leverkusen um, at Ibrox and then, of course, the Old Firm on Sunday and then Leverkusen again on the following Thursday at the Bay Arena. So um, a huge... 10 days or so for, for Rangers anyway, well, maybe 11 days. Uh, so anyway, I'll be back for the Rangers-Leverkusen game. Hopefully, um, it'll be maybe more positive, but I mean, it's going to be a very, very difficult game, so we'll see.